Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we're gonna talk about the new the plugin for the Revit which is called Glyph from the Evolve Lab. This plugin can help us automate the some documentation tasks which is the tagging like dimension placing the dimension on our view and creating the packing the sheets. So by this um, plugin you can do it really really fast. So uh, you already can download it from the official site. Uh, the link you will find below the video. This video actually this is some small overview of this plugin. If you are ready for this overview, let's get started. Let's now have a look how the uh, glyph working in Revit. So here is my Revit, and as you can see, this is standard the file which is I opening uh, in Revit 2024, and here you will find the uh, flap the glyph. Let me will open and it will take the time. So here is our glyph as you can see. Here is the my level 2 and let's create some new levels. I mean the new views from this level. Let's go to the create. Here you will find the create view level. If you are working with the small project it's not a big problem to create like few views by hand. It's not a big problem. But when you have the large project, for example, the 50 levels and uh, like maybe 60, 80, 100 to create levels, it's sometimes noisy. And here, for example, I'm, I will create the level 2, only the level 2. You can create with the level 3, level 4, it will be same, but I just want only one view. Let me go to the properties. I want to do some changes before I will create this view. And here in properties, what we have? We have here the some custom naming. Maybe we'll uh, create the naming, which is first of all will be the uh, elevation or elevation base. Yeah, let me will use elevation base. And after that, I want the name, mm, name of the level. Where is the name of the level? It's here. And uh, the last one will be the custom parameter, which is will be floor plan, floor plan. And here the separator is underscore as you can see or you can change it like this or maybe like this, whatever you want. I will use this one. And uh, all everything starting from the uppercase. So also you can some uh, set some parameter, but as you can see not find any category for this one. Okay, so the new view creating settings, uh, architecture plan, the view template will be architecture plan, nice. You can change to any view template what you have inside in your project as you can see here. I have a lot of the different view templates, so I can even don't use any of the view templates. And here the view family type also you will find it here. We can change like site plan, working, but it will be floor plan. That's why I'm using the floor plan, the last name. So and let's create this view. It's here, as you can see, 0, L2, floor plan. So this is means it's based on the uh, ground level. Let me open this floor plan. And it will be same as the previous one. And as you can see, so here we are. And it using the view templates. Check it. Yeah, architecture plan, as you can see. So it's already applying and creating the first one. But we can create now the serial of the our levels, not only this one. We already have the level two, but what about the level three, level four, level five? And I do I want to make with the same rule. Why not? We can do like this and just one click. And as you can see, it will creating all of the same thing. The same templates it's using, the same naming it's using inside of that. And as you can see, yeah, it's here the plan and as you can see view to play it same. We spend really a few seconds to create it with the right settings which is we want. So this is a just simple thing how you can use it but we have it here the, a lot of different function. Let's see other one. So before we will continue work with the glyph, let me will just hide it. I want to change a bit the my view template. I will change it because I want to overwrite annotation and I want to see all these things. Once I will apply it, as you can see, it will gone. So because I now I want to working with the dimensions. Here I have my three, four plans. Let me will delete all the plans, which is I'm not using. I want to just show you how it's working. No, I want to delete this one, this one, this one, and this. And command del, command workspace, sorry. And here, as you can see, all the my plans now here. 
So now on uh, this is really awesome. Let me will back and now I need to create dimensions. We will go under the dimension here and I will use dimension vision, dimension views by category. Let me will go inside of that. So here we are. And uh, first of all, of course, I will use all of these my plans because I want to apply there. And as you can see here, the uh, properties where we'll be using our dimensions. Here there are some categories like windows, grids, levels. Levels, as you understand, this is much most about the elevation, actually, not for the plan, but it's you can use it here. For the walls, for example, railings and whatever, and even the doors, ceiling, what, what, whatever you need. For example, for my cases, I want to use the window. Let me will apply window. Let me see what the uh, type of the properties I have. Uh, type of dimension family. So I will use the first one. It's pretty enough for me. Offset from the element. This is in fit, but you can change it because it's um, under the, your project because my project is uh, using the fits. And as you can see, here is the rough opening or the center of the window. Uh, so in my case, uh, the better use the rough opening, but maybe in your case, it's from the center of the window. It's rough opening. It's much understandable for the architect, I think. So and here the tie condition. You can also the change whatever you want. For, for example, the nearest grid or the nearest to joint wall. Uh, I will use, for example, nearest grid. It's much better for my case again. And let's click. So here we are. It was take around one minute, maybe, maybe less. And what we have, as you can see, we have now our dimensions. No, I don't want to say our dimensions and all dimensions. Now we have the rough opening, the distance between the windows, and we have the distance to nearest uh, the grid. Yeah, this is a grid. It's more much nearer this one than this one, and we have all dimension from this one. Let me see another one case. And here the same thing. Here the, we have our rough opening, and it's starting as you can see here. Actually, I think this is not a window. This is yeah. This is curtain wall. You should think about that because it's not working like a window for this plugin. So anyway, it's working. As you can see, all the dimension I get, it's so clear and this is pretty awesome. And even it's working when you're building under angle, it's real matter. And as you can see, it's even trying to connect. It's not trying, it's doing that uh, to nearest uh, the grid. I'm just looking on the one level right now, as you can see level three, but I applying this is for the five levels. If I will going to the another level, uh, you will see all dimensions also here. So I spend like uh, less than one minute and uh, five levels already have the dimensions. Yeah, of course, you should manually check all these dimensions because some dimensions may be overlapping something what you know, you know want to overlap or maybe it's not doing so clear, but it's much better when you already have the something you can just fix it or delete it. It's up to you. Anyway, you already have something to work with that. This is really awesome. Now let's do the same thing, but with the uh, tagging. Because yeah, we have the dimension, but uh, the proper drawing uh, became with the text. Let me will open the uh, glyph again. Here you will find the, here the uh, dimension, here the tag. Let me will open it and you will find it tag by category view. Why I'm using the view? Because actually all the my annotation now on the view. If you want to use the for example for on your the sheets, you can use on the sheet. So uh, here the my view as you can see. And let's again, let's use for all of these levels. And after that I changing the category for the uh, from the wall to the window because actually we want to apply again for the window our text and let's see what the type of the properties we have the tag orientation horizontal one the condition free and or attach and so and the view tags what we have inside we have the leader yeah i wanna use it actually and blah 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 three offset okay let's see let's see what we will get so it will be surprised me also because I'm not changing actually anything instead the uh, adding the leader. Okay, it was take 
mm, a bit more than one minute, but still it's really fast. And here we already can see it. So here, as you can see, my text it's already here. Yeah, you have the some settings which is uh, you can make the offset. I didn't change anything, but you can change it. And it will be much proper than you can see it right now. It not will be so close to the window. But anyway, it's already have the text and it's everywhere. So exactly on the windows. Let's see here. Oh, here I don't have the window. Sorry. It's here. Oh, here we have as you can see. And here we don't. Ah, here we don't have window. Awesome. So it's oh really nice working. And let's see the level three. Because it's another level, yeah. All the text here, all the text on the on the right side, and uh, yeah, we are spending not so much time to get all these text. But let's say if you wanna create uh, the annotation, it's uh, without uh, let's say collision. Just uncheck this uh, animation collision avoidance, and here, right? For example, ten feet. It's like around. 3 meters, something like that. And uh, don't forget about the leader. Leader actually, this is uh, the line, just a line. And if I will apply it again, you will see on the right screen, it's exactly right position. If we will check all of that, you will see all this going on the right side. But be careful with that, because uh, on opposite side, it will be go inside to the, your room. So you should uh, uh, somehow to f here, as you can see, going inside to the room. Here it's going outside. Here everything right. That's why I'm saying you not will let's say canceling your hand work. You still should uh, fix by by hand uh, some of these tags. But anyway, all of them, let's say almost all of them, on the right position. Just be careful with that. Maybe you should play with the some settings and uh, applying not 10 feet, maybe like eight feet or nine feet just you you just should check it and now we will create the some sheets because so all the your work should be should be be on your spreadsheets so to be printed so let's create the by level because we already now know the levels which is we want to create like level two three four and five and here as you can see I already click it on that level two three four and five and let's go to the settings actually here is not will be a lot of the settings like the the starting the sheets number like a o okay this is pretty uh, pretty fine for us you can start for example like one zero one but it's already up your standards so let's start from the zero o a zero I mean and here is your title block which is you are using actually here all the your title blocks in your project inside so if you don't have any uh, title blocks inside your project here will be nothing so be careful with that and here is again the name scheme whatever you want i'm not forgetting about the separators because i'm using always separators also here they here say have the some parameters which is you can for example create like check by or the type or the scale, uh, it should be like n volume. We not will use any parameter. Parameter is like a filter actually. And let's create these views. We should have the five views. Oh, it's already done. <laughs> Let me go inside. And as you can see, level two, it's here. It's nothing here. As you can see, only the our title block. And here also only title block. And that's it. And now we can, with the just few clicks, place our floor plan to the our to the our sheets. Let's do it. And now much interesting part. I already changed uh, the my uh, title block. Actually, the my title block is too small, and I change it to the horizontal one and much bigger. This is now A O. So and now I wanna place, for example, my floor level here. We already have dimension there, so let me I will open the place on the sheet inside of this plugin to place the view on the sheet. We can use, for example, to select our sheet and we can uh, select our views. We can uh, select a few views or more, um, as much as you want, and even as you can see here, the, all the views. But I wanna use one uh, view, one sheet, and after that I will go to my properties, what we will find here, and here it's much interesting part. Here we have the mapping, 
which is how I will show you just a few seconds. We will go to the map with the sheets and we can uh, select here's the our sheet and here's the our floor plan. We can choose which is we already selected. And once you will choose it, uh, you can add one more, but I don't have more views. And as you can see, only one like this arrangement. After that, you just can uh, select like creating the new sheets or leave on the sheets you already have. I already have it, so I will use the leave. And after that, you can make the some columns. You can see here the one column, but uh, it's not a big problem. You can go inside and uh, change it and you can create from the your uh, one title block some the column, let's say like this. And as you can see now, we, you will have the two parts, part one and part two, or you can creating the part three. And as you can see here now three parts and here you can change for example the orientation and you can create like four parts you can do whatever you want for example this is some arrangement on your sheet and this plugin will be working with your arrangement but i don't need it i i will cancel it i don't need it and i want to make it on the top left side starting it will be start from this top left or bottom left, but top left is better for me. And all the other settings, this is the standard, the standard one. Zone pack item and blah, blah, blah. And the view viewport type, as you can see it here. So, and let's start it. It will take a bit the time. And uh, now our view will be placed to the our uh, sheets. It's already actually done. Just give me a, sec a few seconds. I will close it and as you can see it's exactly on the top left part of our view here but be careful if your uh, view it's much bigger than your title block your view will be placing somewhere here it's like uh, it's not will be trying to fit to your uh, inside to your title block you should fit with the crop box but it's not a big problem because you can create the crow box like I'm using. As you can see here, I have the scope box. Sorry, not crow box. It's something same. Scope box. You creating once the uh, scope box, applying it. It's it work and it working. And as you can see, we already place our uh, floor plan here. And by this way, we can create all of the, our floor plans just in few seconds. And as you can see, all of these things we're creating like step by step. Even we are using the automated things, but anyway, we should, for example, to creating view after that, making dimension, and after that, creating the our sheets, and after that, just placing our view on the sheet. So again, we have the steps, but we can don't do it. We can make it much easiest way. If you will go to the top. You will find here the bundle. For example, the uh, enlarged plan, the bundle. What's there inside? Let me will open, and you will find the create view by room, for example, dimension in this room, creating the sheets, and place it just one by click. Even the nicest thing, you can create your own one. You just click on here, the small button here, and you can create your own task. And as you can see, now it's making this tool really incredible because you can create your own task, your daily work, let's say creating, placing, replacing, whatever you want. Just I will play with these uh, things. I didn't touch it at, uh, on this on this time, but I will play with this thing and I will I'll leave the, my opinion about that uh, a bit later on. But you can already try it and saying how it's working. So actually this is pretty it, it was the uh, my some uh Actually, not small review, but small review about this uh, the new plugin, which is I found really useful when you're working with the large scale pro um, projects. Um, anyway, if you're working in uh, the same small projects, it's helping you control everything by from the one place. I think I will leave the, my new opinion a bit later on when I will try it more. But for now, this is really nice, which is uh, you should try. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.